I don't know if Jesus existed or not. He never wrote anything, he was probably illiterate if he did exist, and we have no accounts of his existence that were written during his lifetime. There has been some debate around the question of whether Jesus was a real guy who was later portrayed as a god, or if he was made up out of whole cloth. I think Jesus did exist simply because the kinds of things that people have said about him seem to me to be more consistent with the idea that he was a real guy whose significance was exaggerated. Christopher Hitchens, in his book God is Not Great, outlines the first of two reasons that make me lean more toward the idea that Jesus existed. The Bible talks about a census that was taken by Governor Quirinius that required everyone to return to the hometown of their ancestors to be counted. There is no record of any such census, and it seems odd that a census would have such an economically disruptive requirement. Also, Part of the point of a census is to take stock of people's property, and people couldn't reasonably be expected to pack up all their property and schlep it all the way across Judea. It is most likely the case that there was never any such census. But why make up such a thing? Hitchens says, the jumbled Old Testament prophecies indicate that the Messiah will be born in the city of David, which seems indeed to have been Bethlehem. However, Jesus' parents were apparently from Nazareth, and if they had a child, he was most probably delivered in that town. Thus, a huge amount of fabrication concerning Augustus, Herod, and Quirinius is involved in confecting the census tale and moving the nativity scene to Bethlehem, where, by the way, no stable is ever mentioned. But why do this at all, since a much easier fabrication would have had him born in Bethlehem in the first place without the needless to do? The very attempts to bend and stretch the story may be inverse proof that someone of later significance was indeed born, so that in retrospect and to fulfill the prophecies, the evidence had to be massaged to some extent. If Jesus had been completely made up, you'd think they would have called him Jesus of Bethlehem rather than Jesus of Nazareth. But of course it's possible that somebody made up Jesus completely and simply didn't know that he had to be born in Bethlehem to fulfill prophecy. And maybe this person had already been telling people about Jesus of Nazareth, so it was too late to contradict that and he simply added in the bit about the senses after the fact. That's possible, but I don't think it's the simplest explanation. I think the simplest explanation is that Jesus was a real guy whose significance was exaggerated. The other reason I believe Jesus existed is because Paul of Tarsus gets into arguments with Jesus' pre-crucifixion followers, particularly James, over who Jesus was and what he preached. As Reza Aslan says in his book Zealot, James may not have been able to read any of Paul's letters, but he was obviously familiar with Paul's teachings about Jesus. The last years of his life were spent dispatching his own mission to Paul's congregations in order to correct what he viewed as Paul's mistakes. If Paul had completely fabricated the story of Jesus, why would there be people who claimed to know Jesus before the crucifixion arguing with Paul about what he was really like and what he preached? If you completely made up stories about a person who never existed, it would be very odd for someone to show up and say, hey, I know that guy you're talking about and what you're saying is totally wrong. I think that would be far more likely to happen if you made up shit about a guy who actually existed. But I know that this also doesn't prove that Jesus existed. Maybe someone made up the story of Jesus, then Paul took it and added in some bits, and the disagreement was about how to tell the story correctly. That's possible, but I don't think it's the simplest explanation. I think the simplest explanation is that Jesus was a real guy whose significance was exaggerated. 